Ohio. Tony, what's wrong with Richmond? What's wrong with Curly? Well, don't give me that ball. Brian the Whale Roberts is a giant from an age when footballers thought sports science was a spoonful of sugar to help the medicine go down. The often told yarn of the Richmond doctor giving him an orange smarty to curb a hangover before a big game is indeed true. He said, look, he said, can I see you for a minute? He took me a little alcove in the old Adelaide Oval rooms and he said, I don't want anybody to see this because if they do, I'm in trouble. And he gave me an orange pill. Anyhow, I swallowed it and away I went and ten minutes later he said, how are you feeling? Well, I said, I've never felt better. So out I go and I kill him. While the whale got high on Smarties, psychological motivation was something that young wild men got for the price of a movie ticket. When I first started playing football, all I wanted to do was run through brick walls. And when the Rocky theme came out, well, geez, I thought I was Rocky. I lost the loan, you know. And Did you watch uh, it a few times? No, I watched it about 30 odd times. The best movie ever made, I reckon. But, um... You can hum the, hum the tune, can you? Oh, yes. dun 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 The 1986 Brownlow Medal produced a shock result. When Dipper and Greg Williams shared the 86 Brownlow medal, some likened it to Rocky winning the Nobel Peace Prize, a rare tribute to the tough men who'd spent many a Monday night at the tribunal. Dippy Adamenico spread his exuberance around, but in the classic grand final of modern times, the 1989 epic, he copped it too. After this, what did Dipper call for? A Bex? An ambulance? No, just a drink. And despite suffering a punctured lung from a collision with Gary Ablett, he somehow played out the match. Dipper even had a song written about him. But only one footballer became a pop idol and had a Beatle haircut, Peter McKenna.